G'day! Welcome back to Immersive Engineering. This is episode 30. So guys, last flaming episode, we were playing around with this thing called a Skyhook. Or an Engineer's Skyhook. We were, and we also played around with some balloons. Um, yes, that's right. These balloons here, they float in the sky. And we played around with some rope as well. And we come up with a, uh, pretty much a sky network. So come have a look at this. This is what we did last episode. Come on out here. Check it out. So you pretty much you can zip around the entire uh, the entire town here, which is fantastic. I'm gonna put in another set on this side, and this side's probably gonna go out to the desert or somewhere I'm farming. Like yeah, th th yeah, that you can we, we can definitely have a network of these balloons set up. Now you're probably like data, data. I didn't watch last episode, but please test it. Well, watch this. Here we go. Woohoo! So it's not that quick, but. Jeez, this thing's fun. Look at this. We're just zipping, zip lining above the entire town here. Going all the way around. We designed this last episode. Uh, I fixed this bit so we don't get electrocuted for the power lines. <laughs> and down we go. Boom. See? How cool is that? We zipped around the entire... And they, and they emit... Uh, they emit light as well. So, same thing going backwards. We can just hold the hook and up we go. Woohoo! And then up and up, up we go and... We're above the roofs once again of the town. Flaming brilliant stuff, guys. Yep, I love this skyhook. It is amazing. And down we go. Well, landed in the water. <laughs> All right, good stuff. All right, so enough playing around. I could, I could, you know, go back and forth on that nearly all day. It's bloody awesome fun. So what we're going to be playing, playing around with next. So come on over back here. Um, got a bit of a problem, so we're going to start working on our problem back here. So, we're currently powering the rest of the base, which is not a problem. We're powering everything. Uh, we're running low of things, and we need to turn machines back on. The problem about turning any machine back on in this entire setup is literally the overflow. So, I've got probably way too many guard enclosures. I've built this, built the amount of... Um, uh, sugar cane and, and hemp seeds. I built the, the that amount due to the fact is that I wanted to overload the the fermenter and the squeezer so I could build another fermenter and a squeezer. That was the plan, and probably another couple of generators. But we didn't we didn't need a couple of extra generators. I don't think we will before the end of the series because we're not too far away from reaching end game to this mod. We're going to start looking into you know the big mining rig and all that sort of stuff soon, and we need a bit of power and we've got a bit of power we definitely got a bit of power to supply it so i wasn't really gonna probably build the second one now the biggest problem is the build up so i can't leave the entire system on because right here huge amounts of sugar cane and seeds build up it's nuts so sitting here thinking okay immersive engineering has its very own version of a comparator not even kidding it is called um, is this it? Yeah, it's called the Redstone Probe Connector. <laughs> Flame and Galar. Uh, what a name. Okay, so this thing is exactly like uh, the Redstone Comparator, but it puts out a full signal. So it pretty much detects the inventory, I think, the inventory of all multi-block structures, including tanks. Like, you can detect if the tank is full or not which is which is quite cool it, it they work they work together with normal redstone and yes i want to be playing i'm going to be playing around with them today we're going to hopefully get the squeezer because um the it doesn't seem like the sugarcane has the problem the squeezer here the it usually backs up with plant oil and backs up with seeds and and then, then it starts spitting them out and eventually then the sugar cane does the same thing but i think so since the squeezer is slowest and the one to fill up first this would probably control the entire system so i'm thinking of making one of these probes running it into the roof try not to die with all the electricity in the roof run it over with and then use normal redstone to control the the amount in there over to this redstone breaker here because if you power that while well, it turns th that's how we turn on and off the entire farm as soon as i hit that switch all this is going to grow and then all the machines start up etc etc so that would be cool so when if we could 
if we could just finally tune it to say half an inventory full and then it cuts power uh to the rest of this and then it uses up all the power in the buffer zone so the time it uses up the power in the buffer the rest of the inventory should be full right just say should be i'm not sure 100 percent, but should be full turning off and then everything turns off again these guys are full and once they sort of hit down to you know back down to the second row here it activates power to the cloches again allowing more to flow through i.e we're not wasting so much of it um yeah we're, we're not wasting it it's not despawning it's not building up and making everything lag none of that that's the that's the grand plan of the situation if i could pull that off that would be fantastic and then the generator can run 24 7 and i wouldn't care less whoa flame and glow where's me flame bro mate where did you come from Woo! cook Whew. you just come out of nowhere there yeah just give me a bit of a fright i think there's a dark patch like Round about here somewhere. I think we need to change out our lights to a better lighting system because this... Oh, I'm just going to cover the entire floor with slabs because I'm sick of having spawns in the main base. They should be up in the roof in our in our XP farm. Oh, well, not XP farm, but mob farm. You know what I mean. All right, so let's get uh, working on the probe here. We're actually going to need some wire connectors as well. So I think you need the wire connectors for the probe. Yes, you do. Okay, so we just need an Electrum, which we've got a stack of bars somewhere around here. Yep, but don't turn them all into nuggets, Data. <laughs> we only need a we need, we need a couple. There you go. Bob's your uncle. We got the nuggets. And then all we need now for those is two terracotta, a piece of redstone. So up here, redstone, come over here two terracotta that's the, that's actually my last terracotta blocks so i'm gonna have to go farm some more very soon boom boom and we're gonna throw what was it i've forgotten the recipe now it was up here was it and then three along the bottom and then redstone makes four no what was it okay there it is boom swap swap it around bob's your uncle we have the redstone wire connector okay that's fine with me now we need just one of the probes here, and we have the red. We got circuit boards over here. Yep, we got a circuit board because we you know we need them for the turrets. So plenty left over there. Uh, that's fantastic. And we're gonna need a couple of gas panes, which I'm pretty sure are in here. And we're going to need if we can hunt some down. Man, this is not good. Ah, nope, near the quartz. Wow, I might actually have every single thing I need here. There we go. We got ourselves a uh, redstone probe connector. Now we're going to need the redstone wiring for that, which is this bad boy here. So it looks like you're going to need redstone and aluminium and or, you know, whatever way you want to do it. And just a normal stick or a treated stick. You might have aluminium wire laying around. I doubt it because that there was steel wiring. Do we have any aluminium that we can quickly squish down? That would be absolutely cool. And it does not look like it, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. We'll get a couple of these bad boys squished down. Bring it out to the squishier over here. And throw this bad boy. This is the only room that I've got to do up eventually. Throw uh, those in there. And hopefully, they will get nicely squished. Okay. And then we just need... While those are getting squished, we just need some... Good old fashioned uh, Watsy cutters, uh, which we have iron for. Bob, Bob, there you go. She's that will that will cut them up nicely. Now you can set up the uh, what's of course to do this job for you, but I've just been doing it manually. I didn't see the, the the purpose of it. So grab our four aluminium. We don't need too much of this, which is great. There we go. Four of them. See, didn't need too much at all. All right, come back over here and let's get those crafted now wish we got sticks right we got we got 64 sticks perfect all right plus that boom eight of them don't really need any more than that so we've got recipes we've unlocked a bunch of stuff say whoop let me sleep da 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 add some z's to that okay all right now we might need a repeater i'm not 100 percent sure for this for the adjustment anyway 
Now, I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm going to disconnect the power. I'm not even joking. I am disconnecting the power to the room. So how I'm going to do that... Oh, I didn't bring my hammer. No hammer time. I was going to say hammer time, but it was all cool and stuff. Actually, I got some shears in here and some glass in here. Just checking what I had in the crates back here. Okay, so... Looking for hammer. Uh, there's that. Hammer, come on, really? If I have to make another one, I'm not going to be flaming impressed. Okay, whatever. Another engineer's hammer we need. So we need to come in here. We've got plenty of gunpowder and stuff, don't we? Get some string. And put one of these bad boys together again. I know I have it around here. I just, just cannot be bothered finding this bloody engineer's hammer. There you go. Got a new one. Hammer time. All I was do all I was gonna do, guys, is hammer the side so it changed the output to an input. Bob's your uncle, it will use whatever's left in the system. So whack this once, boom, that should have changed. Boom. There we go. So the dots are no longer on the thing. See the power's draining out slowly. It's almost all gone. And it is all gone. So now it should be noob friendly. <laughs> And that's got no power drainage because there's nothing for the power to get used. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to make it use it. Screw it. You know what? I'm not getting electrocuted today. So I'm going to make sure that I throw a stack, uh, a couple of stacks of seeds in there. Not fiber. Is there any more sugar cane? Yep. Uh, there's a couple of stacks of sugar cane in the machines. Should drain out the entire network for you. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. You're a bike gone. <laughs> and boing. Oh, gone. Ha <laughs> ha. So that should now have. Yep, zero. Okay. We are not getting electrocuted today. That's fantastic. All right. So that allows us access there. So to do this, we're going to have to do a couple of things. I've got to remember what I read about these flaming things, these bloody probes. Okay, whoa, did I accidentally smack that? I think I did. Let me fix that up. Flaming galah. Whoops, jump in here. Okay, so I'm going to put the probe in here like that. There, probe is now installed. As soon as, so this emits power. So as soon as we put anything in the inventory here, i.e. seeds, boom, the power's emitted. Actually, you can see that by looking at the belt below it now how do you invert it now how do you change how do you not make it you know do that <coughs> sorry about that crikey i need a need a cup of coffee now how do you stop it from emitting power you can actually whack it so hold shift whack it hold shift no it's just shift no just click so i've changed it to orange okay and actually, we'll go put, no, we'll go yellow. There we go. Yellow is our color for today. So yellow now is the output. So it is outputting a signal only to yellow. That's fantastic. See, that will no longer affect uh, the, the conveyor belt because obviously leaving it stock, stock means it can interact with anything around it. So it turned off the conveyor belt because if you power any conveyor belt bit, it turns off uh, if you did not know that. So pretty much now what we've got to do is have a yellow receiver in the roof. See, we've got the wire connector here. And hopefully we can do that without... Uh, well, we're going to need some... Uh, yep, we're going to definitely need some um, some building blocks here, which is no problem. Go ahead and got this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the roof. Uh, oh, hello, hello, yep. All right, we're getting into the roof. So what I want to do is sort of dig on top of it. It's that one there. So that's where we need to aim for, guys. So we'll use this just to get up there for now. There we go. All right, we're up in the roof where nobody's usually meant to go. So let's create a nice little work area here. Carving all this out. Carve this back. And then we're going to hit a wire very shortly, which I'm pretty sure, yep. Okay, so right there, I can't even see it, it's so close. That's the high voltage connector. So we can't touch these blocks at all. So we need to sort of, yeah, we need to sort of avoid breaking that block at all times. I don't really want to rewire it, so, you know, I'm going to try to go up and around it. There we go. 
Okay, so we're after. Hello, this is the old area. And there she is there. So here's the power. This is the block we need to power. So redstone signals needs to come up and over. And here. All right. I think I roughly got this now. So we got our connector. Throw that bad boy in up here. Like so. Run our redstone wiring to connect them together. Boom. And uh, you're obviously going to have to go down and connect them. There you go. That's redstone wiring. Fantastic. Go back up. Oh. Go back up into the roof here. And remember, we need to change this to orange. So right now, actually, do we have anything in the machine? So let's get some actual redstone. Just like a comparator, it connects in nicely. So it's connected in. No power's coming through. So let's go ahead and change that to, to yellow. Boom. 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 Oh, no, that's changed. Okay. Okay, it must be shift. I was like, why is it not changing? Okay, so that's input and output. So we want it to output, which is the orange. It's no problem. Hold shift. Is it shift? What? What? Draw, man. i got to figure this out. Is it shift? Is it shift? Shift? Is it? I don't know. It's one of the buttons. Okay, maybe we need to change the color. Maybe it's already connected. Yeah. It might be already connected. It's, it's, it's a my bad. Okay, so we've got input and output, yellow and orange. Uh, we meant orange and blue, sorry. Let's make sure that there is something in there. Yes, there's something in there. So there should be a little bit of power being generated. And that goes up into the roof, but it's not changing color. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that, what button it is to change the color over. Um, it could be anything. It could just be a right click or a hammer click, but that changes it from input to output. Shift's not working. So, I guess, no, I can get rid of that, no, unless it's, that's interfering, I don't know, I might have to check the wiki real quick, I'm a little bit confused myself, but we should be able to change the output colours in here to match down there, I'm not 100% sure how all this actually works yet, because I'm new to it too, oh, are you joking me, okay, alright, what are you, are you, I, I'm holding shift, I was holding shift, oh, so if we put it input, Oh, okay, it's changing now. Okay, that's cool. So we need to put output, and we need to output, and we need to change it to yellow. Where's yellow? Black, white, orange, mag, yeah, right. yellow. Okay, now run the power through. Oh, look at this. We've got power lit up. Look at that. And same as a comparator, so picture this as the comparator. I worked it out! Yay! I'm proud of myself without reading or watching a tutorial on it. All right, so it looks like, uh, yeah, so the, just picture this as the comparator hooked into the probe down there. So the more that we add in here, so up and over our little crazy power thing here. There we go. Oh. oh, whoopsie, this is, we need to turn, uh, no, we can't turn, okay, we'll turn it off. There we go. Get rid of the, the, the lever. Okay, so now that's hooked in, that there should literally turn on and off the farm. But the problem is, I think... No, there's no power. Fantastic. So there's no power getting... So what I really need to do, what we need to fine-tune before we turn the entire factory back on, is I need to get some more seeds. I don't need any more sugar cane, so let's go ahead and put the sugar cane back. Let's get the seeds. Because what I want to do is roughly work out... What distance do it, does it have to be to be halfway to turn off? So I want to know there and there. That's when I want the second row for the buffers to drain out and everything to turn off slowly. That's what I want. But I don't, I'm not 100% sure if that will happen. So I've just put two more stacks in there, which is boosted the signal up quite the ways to there and stopped. Now there's one way we can fix this, just a good old fashioned, or we can actually move this. Ah, moving it. We've got more connectors. So what we'll do is how many blocks away do we, does this need to be now? So one, two, three, four, five. So you would uh, run it one, two, three. Oh, is that counted? Is that counted as a block? One, three, four, five. So you would break it, put it here, break all those lines, and you would literally hook up uh, that to that and then you've got to match the color as well guys so get out your hammer as well and whack it there we go change it to yellow and we want input yellow there we go 
should be emitting a signal unless out there we go it's emitting, it's emitting a signal now it's output input output there we go yellow yellow okay so that should go all the way over and just touch if we tried to add yes yeah, so if we tried to add any more it wouldn't go so there we go so that should be literally on top of the block we need to power that should be working perfectly so if i was to take even a single stack out right now so even half a stack let's take half a stack see if half a stack affects it you know if we have to add another block we have to add another block up 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 we go but i'm pretty sure and it stops yep perfect so that there is the perfect number i want okay now let's watch this baby in action let's try watch this baby in action we need to fix it all up now okay so we'll drain all this make sure it's got you know a, a what's start to it hang on let me throw the old seeds out bye bye so they have to grow some more all right make sure there's nothing in this okay everything is empty it's being fully controlled we can seal that block up it should be being fully controlled by our slowest machine which is the squeezer here so this is the one to fill up fastest and we've got a buffer all set everything is all set so here we go switching it on because it should be on uh, remember we've taken out all the stuff it should technically be on ready to go so boom boom all right just getting a little bit loud guys there we go all the closures are now turned on and activated we'll have to be patient because this is going to take a little bit a bit, little bit to get going especially after the first round but boom once the factory turns on it's turned on all right there you go she's now spitting out tons and tons of what we want and that should go down make it just making sure everything's running as it should that's going up into that so that should now literally be turned on that's turned on that is not going down any not building up any okay so oh yes it is okay it is yep so it's making plant oil perfect okay up down up down yep perfect and see this is starting to build up now so i'm hoping when we get to those two those stack rows that it will just be whatever's left in the machine which is about a couple of more stacks of plants so now we shouldn't see any build up now the build up for the sugar cane will be faster i think so we might see a little bit decay with the thing see that's that's 46 it's got 10 more all right keep it up keep it up come on come on come on come on this is the the be patient stage yeah this is the be patient stage uh, we just got to be patient come on it's just pumping out tons and tons and tons i want to let it naturally turn off that's what i want to let it do i don't want to interfere i just want to let it naturally turn off i might have to do a jump cut <laughs> and wait till it gets to the end here but at least we're producing more fuel which is good um yeah we are definitely it's just it's ethanol that is the problem now ethanol's always being a problem it's plant oil is not a problem flame and galah okay guys i will be back shortly hopefully when this is built up a couple more so it turns itself off okay not touching a single thing i think i just picked up a couple seeds but not touching a single thing Alrighty, guys as you can see we are getting close she should be shutting down any second now we are almost yep she's come on it's so close to turning off as soon as it gets to four stack 64 it would have shut on down and uh, well as soon as we hit this line just say as soon as we hit this line we should be good and so close oh it is just hovering above those numbers that is nuts they're definitely not gonna have any wastage boom done done we should be above the numbers now we should be seeing power turned off to the entire system yes we have check it out look power's gone it's using the rest of the buffer up now yes all the power has switched off to the entire rig so it's just using what's left of the buffer i see no build up no build up perfect yep no build up it's st it's staying strong though so these now are just draining out how's this going actually that's not that bad that is definitely not that bad we are nearly equal on both paths now 
And as soon as this turns all back off, which will be, oh, it's, it's, it's going, it's going. So I think the first, after the first wave, it will realize, hey, I'm not getting any more, and it will send a signal back and turning it all back on again. So it's completely automatic now. It now tells each other that it is literally good to go. Yeah, see, that's flaming perfect. I cannot ask for much better than what we've just designed. Uh, we could have put an overflow. Overflow systems do work too. Um, an overflow system, what I would have done is had a redstone signal to change the direction of the belt, if possible, to a disintegrator on both ones. So as soon as the th this was full, I would have just said, no, no more, um, and just switched it off. So that's another case as well. Oh, look at this. Almost gone. Flame and galah. Oh, and she's going to stop growing now. Oh, oh, it's on its last one now. All right, the, our factory should come to a complete stop. Come on, what's going on? There should be nothing left. Wow, it's got a little bit of buffer there, doesn't it? It's See, some of them are turned off. Some of it. Oh, 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 come to a stop. Oh, can you see this? Look, look, there's nothing left. Fantastic. Now this should realize, once this starts draining out a bit, it should turn power back on. What is going on? It looks like it's still growing, but there's no actual power there. It, it got harvested. Is that getting harvested or is that just a visual? No, that's just a visual glitch. Okay, that's fine too. Okay. And, yep, she's she's using it all up. We should get power any second now. It's, not, it's taking it splitly, so we can't really tell when this is going to, it's going to turn on any second now. I think, did it just turn back on? No, because the visual glitch is still going. We'll find out in a second. It's just about to send a signal to say, hey, I'm running low. And this is also starting to take out too. Yep, visual glitch. Yeah. Oh no, power's restored. Power has been restored now, guys. There you go. Power's all back online. Yep, there you go. The factory has started back up yet to start replacing. So, therefore, is now a constant balance between, um, yeah, just it, it sends a signal to say, hey, we need more of the sugar cane and seeds down here. That's pretty much what we've got going now. Fantastic. It just means I can r literally run. Oh, all these capacitors are, are, are bone dry here. It means we need to, you know, send some. There you go. Sending some fuel over. There you go, it's charging up. So, therefore, we should have a fully automatic setup that we can leave going and not worry about all the excess buildup. She should be able to run 24 7 on its own now. Complete awesomeness. So, that there has been the uh, Redstone Probe, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching episode 30 here of Immersive Engineering. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, do me the biggest favor. You need to smash those buttons, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you all later.